Hey, what up everyone? It's me, Barky, and I'm here with another mod showcase for Rimworld 1.0. It's one of the older mods for Rimworld that still gets relatively decently updated. This is the Children and Pregnancy mod. It does exactly as it says in the title, as most mods do. It adds in children into the game, and it also adds the ability for people to get pregnant into the game. So I've made this little nice colony over here. It's got a doctor's room over there, but the rest of it is just rooms and then a little gathering hall in the middle here. But a few of the colonists have relationships. Obviously, my swag dude over here has a relationship with this woman named Marie. And if they are in a relationship and they get their loving on, please don't demonetize me, YouTube. I love you guys. They will actually initiate something called pregnancy. Now, if you don't know what pregnancy is, this may not be the right video for you. But it is the act of having a baby, I think. Something like that. Um, and once they do that, they can actually have children in game. It allows you to have a child that gets passed on some of the traits of the two parents. So I've got uh, Theodore. Okay, well, this might have used to be a man. But anyways, Marie Joachim. She's beautiful, kind, and industrious. And then I've got myself here, industrious, sanguine, and kind. They've got similar traits, but not exactly the same. So there we go. As you can see, we're going to zoom in and keep a close eye on them doing their loving. Loving. Um, and as it does that, it will give you this buff called Pregnant. You can only see it with the devs right now because in the beginning you can't see it. Although there is a way to see it quite early. But I will show you how around 27 days left. So you can see time left 44. Around 27, it pops up probably because the lady has a bit of a bigger tummy. I, or womb? Womb? Yeah, womb. It does give you a bit of a debuff though, unfortunately. So movement is decreased. Not at this point in the pregnancy. But later on, it goes from 15% to 30% and then eventually downs you. I'll explain the whole process. The problem with recording the video for this is that it would take me several hours to actually get the footage in because of how long this mod takes, just to give you guys a rough idea. So when they get pregnant, it takes roughly a year, 44 days, which is three seasons, to have the baby, which makes sense. But then after that, it just gets ridiculously long to the point where you sort of struggle to keep an eye track on things. So I've made two little children here um, age 4 and age 12, and I will get to why I made them those ages soon. But once that's done though, they start having this baby, it takes 45 days, then they get taken to the doctor's bed. I will show you that in a moment, because I did record that much in a big speedrun sort of thing. Once they're born though, they become something called a toddler. A toddler is basically an untamed animal in your colony. An animal that you own but isn't tamed, can't do much. They, uh, eventually can do some very basic things like flicking switches and carrying items then the child stage starts and that's what i have over here the montoya star person what this means for a child once you get past the three and a half year old stage he's a four is that you can start to learn very basic skills so you're not as efficient as an adult they have lower stats and they can't learn past a certain skill amount. This says five in the uh, in, on the actual page, but I've gone them past five already, so it's kind of interesting. It might just be because I spawned this one in in the beginning, but yes, yeah, so the children can't learn past five, the the skill level five, which is fine. It makes total sense. The child is not going to become godly. If you're at level twenty in Rimworld, according to Tynan himself, that means you're one of the best in the universe. So if you're level 15, you could say eh, around level 10 is like Olympic level. So if you're level 5, or skill level 5, you're almost a god as a kid. You're kind of godly at that point. But it's pretty interesting. There's a lot of things that sort of work their way, work their magic. It is quite a complex system. So let's go ahead and skip to the birth. Because so I went ahead and made the speedrun. Something that I'll be showing in the background as this video goes on. So Marie just contracted having contractions as you can see at the top and it says time left 21 hours it does not tell you that if you don't have this on they need to be treated for a little while and once they're treated they give recovering from giving birth newborn baby and you can see there is a little child that has been born there it literally looks like a potato with a head i guess most babies do look like that so he puts it in the crib and now we have a baby that cannot do anything but the big thing is, it passed on industrious and beautiful from its parents. Can't do anything at the moment. That's because the baby backstory sort of disables it from doing much. While it's happening, Marie chills in bed for the next while. It takes two seasons for the toddler to become a child. So they chill in bed and do basically nothing for quite a while. There is a chance that they will get 
a, um, a debuff over here, a mood debuff, saying that they get postpartum depression, which sort of sucks. And especially, it especially happens if they have the neurotic or depressive traits. I'm reading it straight off the page here in this case because I've never seen it myself, even though I've used this mod quite a decent amount. Um, it hasn't happened to me as of yet. I think I just got lucky, which is a first. So now this baby will grow up. It will eventually become a toddler. And after that, the toddler will be able to crawl around like the animal that I mentioned before. It's literally just an untamed animal. Still a part of the colony though, as you can see at the top here, they're still part of the colony. So they can sort of chill. They need to be fed though. So where you put them is in these cribs. You can make the wooden crib through here. They are akin to a medical bed in a lot of ways. You can put on a vial monitor. Sort of gives them a bit of a hand. But yeah, children suck. So just keep that in mind. They absolutely suck. This one is beautiful and industrious, so apparently it'll be lovely to look at. In fact, let's take a look at the social. Yeah, so already plus 17 is crazy. This, is ba this baby already dislikes someone because he's a hard worker and the person he knows, Alo, is lazy, which is just hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. But yeah, the mod itself takes forever though. So once they get into this stage over here, they turn, once they get to the uh, child age, it actually takes 13 years for them to turn into an actual colonist. So it'll take four freaking ever. You can hear the baby crying, that's lovely. But it takes forever for them to grow up. So you can see he's become an adult now in the time that I saved and loaded. So he is now a fully fledged adult, even though he's only 13. And then if we go to Montoya over here, he's only five. Not old enough to be an adult yet, but still quite irritating. All the babies are quite irritating in this. It's still a lovely mod though, it's just very very hard to actually show off the results of your progress just because it takes so long. The biggest draw about this mod though is that you can make a pretty effective medieval colony. Um, in this mod, basically what it enhances is the relationship side of Rimworld, which hasn't gotten the biggest touch up. So for example, lovers matter a lot more when you're using this mod because you want parents to stay together. Babies and, and children at that get buffs from actually knowing that their parents are together and all that stuff It comes back to bite them later on if the parents separate and all that One of the coolest things though is that you can make a colony that doesn't take anyone in and that is a cool role-playing thing to do So if you want to shut down your colony completely in a lot of the cases such as Bont stream He would sort of make a medieval colony and have a castle and the castle wouldn't really let people in or maybe it would but there'd be a, a lineage of people that have just been born from one line of lovers, which is really, really awesome. Maybe a bit incestuous, but still very cool that that can happen. Um, I wish this sort of thing was added into the base game. I just have no idea how it would be handled, and that sort of scares me a little bit. As I said, though, it does take 13 years to get it done. And not only that, but the mother is out of action for quite a while afterwards. So it makes them effectively a useless pawn. There's also a chance that they get the depression. Which makes it even worse. There's a lot of drawbacks on it. To the point where you probably wouldn't want to do this if you're playing the game seriously. But I still think it's an awesome idea. Now there is the catch. This is the one thing that I did want to talk about. When you get raided. Oh man. When you get raided. There is a chance that children soldiers will spawn. And children for all intents and purposes. Teenagers can be operated on. So if you have a mod. You can effectively torture kids. I don't want to say that too loud just in case the overlord YouTube is watching. But it does make you sort of put things into question on if this is something that you really want to do. Because you're going to have a few hard choices such as letting the children raiders leave or flee for example. Maybe stopping your sniper from picking them off. And that sort of thing. Um, as I said before though, to me it's a video game. I don't get affected by this stuff overly so. Uh, especially if you saw my last video where it was literally a mod based around torture. I don't really, it doesn't affect me overly so. But still, I love this mod. I think it's one of the coolest mods I've seen. I say that about a lot of mods, but it genuinely is. I love the idea of this, of having a family of Rimworlders in a sense. You can spawn with two people and eventually make an entire family. It would just take four freaking ever, and the mom would probably want to die at the end of it. Just like in real life. There are a few drugs that it adds in. So you get contraceptive, you can take one of these per season, so every 15 days, and it'll stop you from having kids, which is fine. And then mif Mifepristil, Mifepristil, which is the morning after pill. Don't know if that's the actual name for it, but still. 
And next up, we have the. So if I take Thunder over here, you can actually. I don't know if I can do it this late. So you can actually perform an abortion on your colonists. So if you don't want to have a baby, you can get rid of it. This is probably going to fail, knowing my luck. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so you can abort the fetus, which is fine. It does give them a debuff depending on how late it is into the actual pregnancy. So as you can see here, the mood debuff is late term abortion. That's a really horrible thing to read. If you want to read it, you can go back and pause the video. Um, but yeah, so you can get rid of it at any point. And also in the beginning, the pregnancy is hidden. So if I go and add the pregnancy back in to this person, this doesn't feel right to do. But you can do this also. Let's so add this in. So now they're pregnant again, you won't be able to see it, but you can see pregnant, early stage, 45 days left. You can assign an operation to determine it, which is always fun. You can see Thunder's pregnant, now it shows up, which is cool. It still doesn't tell you how long there is, so you got to judge it roughly 45 days, 9 months later, um, or otherwise 3 seasons. So there is an age for a cutoff, so unfortunately this person is 14. If I had known that, I probably would have aged them up a little bit, but yes, this person is 14. And if you are between the ages of 16 to 25, you have the highest chance of becoming pregnant. If you go over 45, the chances start to drop off dramatically to the point where it's very difficult to get a 55 year old pregnant. Um, I've tested a lot, unfortunately. Not my best moment, not my best quote, but yes. Let's see, so she's pregnant again. So if I don't want the pregnancy, what you can do is determine the pregnancy. Once they wake up, she goes and lies down, doctor wakes up eventually, find out she's pregnant and she can go and take the morning after pill, which will get rid of it. So we go, Mifepristil, it has the effect of getting rid of the pregnancies. Pregnant early stage, you can see it disappeared, which is nice, it's pretty nice. No debuff for that luckily. And if I go get her pregnant again, it's kind of messed up that I'm doing this quite a lot, but uh, hey, it's for science, right? Pregnancy. Torso. No, let's determine if she's uh, pregnant again. Oh, I forgot the Mifepristil's crystals on. Will it actually clear it off again? Is it going to clear? I wonder. I don't think so. It'd be cool if the morning after pill actually lasted like two days. There we go, it's gone. Cool. And then perform abortion. Dead. No debuff for that. No mood debuff. And then you can sterilize her. So sterilize. We'll make sure that they cannot get pregnant again, which is cool. So there we go, sterile, you can see. It's just kind of nice. nice. So this does work with Rim Job World. I don't know if you use those mods, but um, it does work with that and a lot of other mods. It has quite a few compatibility mods. Um, it can be used with many of them. The biggest one is children and learning. So if you want your children to learn, you can use that mod with it, which is one of my personal favorite ones. I enjoy that mod quite a bit. But anyways, that is the entire mod. Keep in mind that there's always a chance that the pregnancy fails. Always a chance that they can be depressed afterwards. Aside from that though, um, I wouldn't be able to show you that because it would take years to actually go through. But still, one of the coolest mods I've seen. I honestly really, really love it. Adds a lot of roleplay potential, which is something I think Rimworld severely lacks. I think the social system is kind of garbage. And it adds a little bit to it. So that's awesome. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it tremendously. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Only 8.7% only 8 of you on average get to this point in the video. So I just want to say thank you to that 8.7%. The return to YouTube has been totally awesome. And I'm just very sick. So I'm not sad. I get a lot of those comments. Very, very sick at the moment. But still fighting the power. Anyways, have a fantastic day. Bye-bye. Hey, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. It's really, really awesome of you. I've got a Discord server that's free for all to join if you'd like to come and have a chat with me or anyone else. And I've also opened up a Patreon page to help fund my videos. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and take a look at the description. Have a great day and thank you very much for watching.